Let's get some strong bones today by activating a little bit of our strength, our muscle system. Your bones need your muscles. They're in it together. They can't live without each other. So if your muscles aren't working, your bones aren't working. You're vice versa. If your bones aren't working, and why won't your bones work? Because you need more circulation and flow, then your muscles aren't going to do the job either. So you're going to need a towel for our workout, if I said that already. And let's get into it. Let's warm up a little bit. You'll need a, a smooth surface as well to do this. It's not going to be easy on carpet unless you have a slider or something like that. You're going to bring it under the right foot and you're just going to do little circles for me. Like you're washing the floor. Little circles on the right foot. Swing it around. So that's hip mobility. Stabilization on that left leg as well. Good. Remember, circles are complex movement patterns for your brain as well because we don't do enough circling. Reverse that circle. You should start to kind of feel that in the glute as well on that opposing leg, this leg. Quads. May as well soap up the floor and actually clean the house while you do it. Three, two, one. Let's warm up the other side. I've lost my square there. Left. So what I'm concentrating when I do this is my foot. I'm engaging through my toes and my heels. I'm imagining there's that little butterfly living under my foot, so I'm not doing that and squishing him. I'm pushing my knee out as well. Reverse that circle. Good. Reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. Three, two, one. Let's work the outer part of the leg now. You're going to drop that towel over your ankle. You're going to stabilize on the left leg and you're going to give me some towel lifts. Do you know what? The lighter the towel, the harder your muscle works. Honestly, because you don't want to drop the towel. So there's this weird sensation thing happening in your brain going, hold everything, hold everything, hold on, hold on. And it canes your muscles. You've got five more here because it's caning. Four, three, two, one. See what I mean? All right. Other side. Over that ankle bone. You can have a wall if you need it. That's okay. Out. Straight legs. Balance. Stabilization. Working. Strength. Coordination. Oh, the left is going to lose it. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> two one relax there for me Woo. all right grab that towel for me you're going to need a wall you don't have to have a wall but it kind of makes it funner just so you your brain knows what it's doing you're going to bring your left foot out right foot back so that your right elbow is closest to the wall and you've got your chucks or your towel or your tea towel in your hand now i'm going to wipe this wall down and as i do it i'm going to have to come into a lunge then reverse my arm here. See the mobility that requires to do this plus the stretch. I'm going to come down and come back up. All right, I'm going to have to flip my wrist at one point there. And it's that low point. Circle, lunge, wiping the wall down. You'll notice I just kind of, from here, I just kind of flip my wrist to do, to get it into that motion. Whew. Lunge. Circle, lunge, circle, good. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Now, we're going to add the vision into it. So we're going to slow it down and we're going to follow the towel. Whoa. Slow it down, follow the towel. How instantly do you become slightly more off balance and things have to upregulate a little bit harder? Follow the whole thing. So now it's neck, it's shoulder, vestibular, stability, <laughs> mobility. We've got five, four, three. As I said, you could do it without the wall, but it kind of gives you a little bounce point too. Two, last one. Whew, how do I come up with this stuff? Oh, you're asking me. 
someone comes up for it. I don't know. All right, here we go. Right foot forward, left foot back. We start up, let's wipe this wall down. We go down and wipe. Keeping the head straight. I want you to kind of notice that difference of what a head straight does to what a head moving around does. It impacts the body so much more when you start adding the variety of a neck moving or movement. Big circles. Lunge, circle, lunge, circle, lunge. You don't have to come as deep as me. You can just do little ones. All right, let's follow it with our head. Circle, over, circle, over, circle, over. Good. So much harder, right? Slow it down if you're dizzy. Use the stability of the wall, which actually doesn't help that much because <laughs> your vestibular is going, where am I? In space and time, keep going. Five, four, multi-complex movements here. Three, two, last one, big circle, one. Whew. See what I mean? You could lunge or you could do that. <laughs> All right, we're getting a bit fancy. We're gonna switch that coordination on. What I want you to do, grab the towel in your hand. You're going to do this with the arms, but I'll show you how that's gonna go. The towel in the right hand, you come under the left leg. With the towel in the left hand, you come under the right leg, which never leaves the ground. Left, right, left, circle. So it's all about that lunge today, but different variations. Circle. Oh, circle, come on Elise, circle, 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 circle. You can have that foot at the back. If that's too much, that's fine. I don't mind that, because it's pretty difficult. Shoulder, it's like swimming, swimming, swim, swim. Or the leg never touches the ground. Keep going, good, swim, swim, swim. Good. How is that foot? You're going to get strong feet. You better be training with no shoes on. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, I'm all over the shop. Five. It's because I'm fatiguing. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it up here. Punch out. Punch, punch, punch. Good. Punch it out. You never want to pull that towel in. You want to keep it out. Keep it out, then we're going to swap sides. Punch it out. Punch, punch, punch. Left. Turn your head to the left. I know that's my right, but that's your left. Turn it to the left. Don't look at the towel. Turn it to the right. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, now we go to the other side. Under the right, swim down under the left. Swim down under the right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. You can have that foot at the back. Mobility and strength, powerful combination. Requires focus and attention. Requires coordination to do big joint movements. And when you need more attention and focus, you need more light switched on in your brain. Keep going. Whee! Five. Four. Whew. Three. Whew. Two. Whew. One. Bring that towel out, I haven't finished yet. Pull it out. Hinge forward, stick your butt back. So if you get against a wall, I want your tailbone touching the wall or just your sitting bones. And we're rowing. Row, row. Oh, that's my timer going off. It's been 10 minutes. Keep going. Row, row, row. Good, keep going. Row, row, hold it. 
out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Keep going, pull that tail apart. Now you're gonna do those big movements. Go wide with the legs, swing, swing, but I've got palms facing up here. Swing, pulse, swing, pulse. Left look, left look. Right look, get that neck involved. Swing, pulse, pull that tail apart. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you're gonna swing that tail around you with your arms, Ooh. around the base, around the base. Feet together, eyes closed, around the mid of your section. Other side. Good. Bring it up around your neck, around the neck. Working those shoulders one last little bit. Around that head. Reverse it around the head. Can we do one loop all the way down? Down, down behind the butt, down behind the knees. Keep your eyes closed. Scoop it along the floor, then reverse it up. As if you were wrapping yourself up with a bandage. Eyes closed, keep that balance. Beautiful. 10 minutes, brand is on fire. See you next time.